Hey YouTube, what you got new? How's about doing something up with me? Hey there, girl, I'd like to rock it well. How's about looking something up with me? Oh my God, Justice Katon. Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good, you guys? So I got a funny one for you guys today, today, today. So uh, I'm going to let a few people get on here. Um, got some live shit to let you be filled in on. Um, but what do you guys think of my new TV? Mm, donated by happy parents everywhere across Southern California. <laughs> so... Nice. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you guys, check it out. I don't know why. Oh, the lighting sucks. All right. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Hell, if I'm cooking something up with me. Hey, there you Wow, you guys, how about rocking some kitty CBD with me? Oh, yeah, here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> so, where's my gla damn glasses? Where's my damn glasses? All right, you guys, so anyway, I'm going to go start telling the story. So anyway, I've been dealing with this parent for a minute now, and uh, my boy's been talking to me about starting another show and doing it as – you know, like a, a reality show, a, a, you know, intervention show, which is basically what I went to do today. So I've been dealing with these parents for a few now, and they got, you know, they're, they're medium, they're a little above grade medium uh, financings, um, and their daughter, <clears throat> daughter got to rebel when they young like that, you know what I'm saying? So she's starting to date this uh Little young Mata Salvatrucha dude. Okay. And, uh, yeah, first they notice that she's getting stoned a little bit. And she's sneaking out a little bit. And this and that. So, you know, they, they got at me and told me, hey, man, what are you thinking? And they told me what he was starting to date. And I was like, let me tell you something, bud, right now. That's an all bad situation for starters, too. Be in their clique, I believe you have to get have a rape on yours. And in order for a female to come in, I know that you know they got to be trained by the, pretty much the whole group. Uh, the dad just about turned pale and wanted to throw up. You know, he's fucking like, What? Like, yeah, that's pretty much their stilo, man. That's their get down, you know, uh, to get into their clique. That's what's up. You see it on the news all the time MS 13 gang members rape. And we, well, that's what goes on, you know what I mean? So. Dad's like, can you do anything? Can you do anything? I said, well, what am I going to do, bud? You know, well, you'll do more. And she'll listen to you more and she'll listen to me. I said, I could tell her the fucking facts as I know them. That's all I can do. 16 likes. Come on, guys. Don't be cruel. So anyway, my homeboy was like, let's record this. Let's record this. I'm like, nah, this one we're going to take a pass on recording, bro. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know how this is going to play out. So I go over there. Uh, the dad had invited the boyfriend over as well. So, which at some point, the homeboy had enough uh, balls to threaten my life. You know what I mean? Uh, I go, what? You don't like fucking what I'm telling? Because facts are facts, right? They are what they are. Just tell her that I'm lying. Tell her that I'm not telling the truth. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. My feet have been fucked up. So, I'm wearing these over there, which my girlfriend says are lesbian fucking flip-flops. <laughs> I got the lesbian flip -flop flops on and a little uh, gro uh, fucking flamingo tank top on. So I'm probably looking like a half a Peter Puffer myself, you know. And uh, so dude thought he could intimidate a little bit. And I'm like, you got me fucked up. Don't let these clothes get things twisted. So uh, I'm like, hey, tell your girl that I'm lying. Tell her that I'm fucking not telling the truth. You know what I mean? So she looked at him and she goes, did you have to rate somebody to get into fucking uh, your clique? And she, he's just like, man, I don't discuss gang business with fucking, you know, why did you tell your people that I was a gang member and blah, blah, blah. 
And so now the daughter's starting to catch a little grip as to what I'm saying. It might just be hold a little weight, have a little depth and weight to it, you know? Uh, so the dad's like, well, fucking is my, is, is dude telling the truth? You know, did you have to do any of that shit? Fucking he's like, I don't discuss gang shit with outside of our gang. You know what I mean? Like, well, we sure ain't, uh, you know, selling candy and fucking, uh, crackers. Yeah. Well then why are you hanging out with my daughter? You know, uh, she doesn't fit into your guys' world. Well, she was trying to. Little does she know, she was fucking in for a surprise. I know she was in for a surprise. You know, they would have fucking rode that little youngster hard and long and uh, not gave a fuck. You know, told her that if you fucking tell anybody, we'll fucking kill you and your family. You know, sort of like he started trying to get crazy with me. Uh, Michael, appreciate you. Appreciate you. So at which point I, I'm texting the whole time too. I'm texting my partner to tell him, hey, dog, why don't you grab a few of the homies? In fact, make it a whole carload of them and swing on by here, would you? You know I mean? Uh, make it look as good as possible. He's like, what do you mean? I go, you know, baseball bats for you in the back seat, for you in the front seat, <laughs> you know, something like that. And he's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, dog, fucking, I just want to fucking – Show that when push comes to shove, you know what I mean? We got the same fucking numbers going. And uh, he's like, yeah, all right. I'll put together the crew. Uh, you're going to have to buy us dinner. I'm like, stay no thing. So they come, to, they get put together and they come over. They come rolling over. Meanwhile, me and dude are still arguing a little bit back and forth. And I'm like, listen here, pup. I'll tear your fucking head off. You know what I mean? Like, I, I ain't giving a shit. And they won't find you, you know? Uh I'm just letting you know right now, you know? <laughs> so he tried to put on his little bravado. Fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, I know that you guys ain't no joke, whatever. I ain't fucking tripping on you. And ding dong. <laughs> Could you get that for me, bud? <laughs> so in come walking my people. Ding, 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 ding. They come mobbing in, you know. Some of them had some docks on. Uh, some of them had some... Yeah, no, come on. I still got friends, man. Just because we don't hang out and fucking rumble together anymore doesn't mean that we don't fucking come to each other's backs when we need it, you know? Appreciate you again, Michael. Uh, so anyway, the dad's like looking at me like fucking, whoa, I didn't know that this was the crowd that you kicked it with too. And I'm like, don't trip, dog, we got you. So I told this kid, you know, hey, uh, 58 to 136 likes, man. Here I almost got my life threatened. I got a fucking, oh, I can't even get a like or a thumbs up. Oh, my, 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 my. So I'll tell some more of the story after we get a few of them thumbs up. I'm extorting you for thumbs ups. So, that shit was crazy, though, man. There we go. Starting to look a little better. Starting to look a little better. When we hit 100, then I'll get back on it. Uh, I uh, getting close, getting close. I got other shit to do too, you guys. You know I mean, a couple thumbs up ain't gonna kill you. So, I see, I got a few trolls that don't like me on here. If I ain't getting them thumbs up, appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate you. That's right. Florida. Oh, no. What's in your guys' water down there, man? We're only nine likes away. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Ganesotelo. Ganesotelo one. Appreciate you. Let me see what my boy got to say. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. All right. Appreciate that. Um, Silas, you know, you always got that coming, man. You, 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 my boy, you always got my back. I got yours too. All right. We at the hundred mark. All right, cool. So anyway, <coughs> I tell old dude, you know, and you're like, Hey, you might want to think about things. I mean, right now you're outnumbered, you know? Yeah. You can catch me slipping out there on the guys too, but I ain't tripping on you. Uh, 
but you might want to be tripping on me right about now. You know what I mean? I need you to stay the fuck away from his daughter. You know what I mean? I said, do you still want to see this dude? He's telling you by not telling you what's going to happen to you. You know what I mean? And she started to grasp onto a little reality herself. <clears throat> She's like, he, you know, he's, he's not saying nothing. He's not denying what I'm saying, you know, uh, yeah, he wanted out of that fucking house bad as a motherfucker, too. You know what I mean? A couple more boys stood by the door, leaning on their bats. And, you know, no threats were made on our end. You know, uh, he's like, if I don't get back, at, if I don't get out of here, you know, you're going to fucking never rue the day. I said, I'll probably rue the day anyway, bro. I've been hearing that fucking threat as long as I've been alive. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you ain't even been to the house yet. I can tell. You're just a young buck. You know what I mean? Fucking panties still like smell like pee, I'm sure, bud. You know what I mean? And uh, he's like, uh, you ain't going to disrespect me like that. And I go, well, I just did. You're not doing nothing about it. Shut the fuck up about how hard you are outside this door. And if you were, you know what I mean? Because we're here right now. Do something now. I know this. The numbers were like this for me. I'd be going for one of these dudes trying to get a bat. Fuck, get up out of here. I'd take whatever smashing I had coming in. You know, deal with that at that point. So shut the fuck up, lame. You know what I mean? And, uh, no mean, no mean. And, uh, the dad was so grateful, man. You know, the mom was even more grateful. She's like, do, do they really do that? They are like that, aren't they? Uh, you know, why would your daughter start hanging out with him? What are you guys doing? What's going on here now at home? What is going on at home to where she's doing this? To get your attention. She's obviously screaming for attention. Because that's an ugly little fuck right there. And your daughter's cute as hell. You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong. Thank God for cute as hell daughters. and Because I'm ugly as fuck. You know what I mean? And I've needed a few hel uh, help from a few of them cute as hell daughters. You know, I'm wanting to volunteer a little. But this dude got nothing going for him. No holly. No job. Uh... I don't know how he got there. I didn't see his damn car in the driveway, you know. Um, didn't look like he had much going for him. She had a car. Believe that. Um, Dad saw to that. And, you know, what's going on here at home? And I told her, you know, I'm not going to put her name out there right now. But uh, I'm like, you know, what's going on? What? Why? Well, they want to rule everything. They want to control me at every angle. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, how old are you? All right. So, look, next year, you're able to be out of the house if you want. You know, at which point you really want to be moving back home. Have you checked out the prices of rent out there? Right. So, exactly. You know, uh, it's a little hard even for an adult to make ends meet. Obviously, these guys are buying you nice clothes, nice car. You got freeloaders like this motherfucker trying to hitchhike up onto that shit. Uh, you know, why aren't you going for a boy, you know, more into your weight class, let's say. I know that what you're doing is just being rebellious and you're just trying to, you know, cause problems with your parents. I go, next year, you'll be able to be out of the house if you want. So... Or you could go to college, it sounds like. You know what I mean? Like, you could probably stay here and go to college or maybe go to college on your parents' dime and, you know, just do the right thing if you were to fucking get to can a can of acting right. So tell me how I could help you help them help you, you know? And she's like, I just don't want to be controlled at every turn. I want to be trusted. I want to be blah, blah, blah. So basically, you want the same things I'm wanting at, 50 fucking something years old and uh i don't get those either sweetheart life is not fucking you know here i want i want i want so i wish it was trust me i wish it was you know but it really isn't um i don't know man i think when i left you know they were communicating with each other Dad was saying, yeah, I think I could meet you somewhere as far as that goes. You know, a few of the issues that they had with one another. And I was able to bring to the table and say, look, she, I wouldn't want to fucking be treated like that either. At 17, didn't you think you knew everything? You know what I mean? I know that I did. And uh, when I got called to the back of the dorm, 
And uh, I got smashed for probably the 15th time that year um, for doing this, touching the handrails, for uh, farting and not flushing the toilet, for uh, not wiping the toilet seat down, even though I didn't sprinkle on it, you know, um, for not washing my hands immediately after going to the papa, you know, um, these are all things that you have to do inside, man. You don't fucking not wash your hands in the, after using the restroom in the joint. And then reach over and try and drink off your homeboy's cup, right? It's going to beat the fucking bark off you, man. What the fuck are you touching my cup for, homie? You mean you got any clean time at all? Or them, lip, them fucking cocksuckers been on every cup in town? What's up? You know, uh, motherfuckers don't want to mind rules out here. And they go to prison. And the rules are like double time in there. You know what I mean? The chores are like double time in there. You're going to get up. You're going to make your bunk every day. You're going to clean your bed area. You're going to fucking do all these things. Or you're going to be kicking it over there on the S&Y yard with trash. You know, baby sniffing, bicycle seat sniffing, diaper wearing. Eh, you know, you got the picture, right? Kicking it with these fucking rapos and fucking J-cats and, you know, all that shit. It's funny, too, how... Even over there on a, on a fucking PC yards, you know, I hear uh, people are, you know, they're throwing up the 2-5 car, you know, uh, which stands for quarter plus uh, you know, pretty much no good, right? So, and a lot of them got it blasted on their face, 2-5, you know what I mean? Half, appreciate you, my boy. Trump, 2020! Uh, come on, man, I can't be saying that shit on uh, tube. I can't be doing that. Uh Anyway, um, you know, like, you're going to mind somebody if you go inside, man. You should already know to wash your hands after going to the bathroom. You should already know to fucking get up in the morning, make your bed, keep your bed area clean, uh, get the dust bunnies out from underneath your bed each and every day. And it's just like your teeth. You don't have to floss all your teeth, you guys. You really don't. The only teeth you have to floss are the ones you want to keep, you know what I mean? So you chew on that for a while. You know, I wish I would have known that when I was young. When I was young. So anyway, uh, old boy said, you know, hey, man, I really fucking, I want to hook you up. You know, he wanted to write me a check and shit. I'm like, nah, man. You know, I told you I'd help you out however I could. Uh, I said, if you want to donate to the bed, you know what I mean? Like, you could do that. But, uh, you know, you don't have to. You know, um, looks like you could afford to, but, you know, like I'm going to drop hints because I do. I need I need help with that bed every month, man. I was going to ask him for a monthly commitment on it when I d was done, you know. But uh, anyway, my boy wants to start recording shit like this, getting shit like this and me going out and doing, uh, you know, these things. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Walk my dog, my vlog. What do you guys think of me doing something like that? And then doing a, a TV, you know, filming it, and putting it up and having a show about it. You know, are, are, we, are we on board or? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'd like for you guys to think about it. <clears throat> Let me know. If that's something you guys could get into and maybe tune in and watch, tell a friend about, you know what I mean? Like, because if I start doing that, <clears throat> the channel is definitely going to have to pay for itself 100%. It won't be just about the bed because I won't be giving up the bed. Um, and I let you guys know that bed gets paid before my own rent gets paid. You know, where the fuck is it? Where, where can my baby be? Where did it go? You know what I'm saying? You guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know, I was able to pay it last couple months without even thinking about it because you guys have been coming through. And for that, I'm grateful. You know? And if you guys know anybody that needs help in the San Fernando Valley or wherever you guys are at, you know, if you want to come to California and you have insurance that, that, that'll get you in and you need treatment, let me know. I got spots for you, man. You know, um, I have some places that will even uh, 
scholarship you, you know? I mean, they won't do not many places that I send to. They're all high-end places, so not many of them scholarship religiously with me. But, you know, I mean, like, if there's special cases out there and I can get you in there, man, trust and believe I will. So that was so cool that they had to give me that TV. You know, I'm walking out and they got a big old box TV coming in. I'm like, what are you doing with that one? You know, he's like, I don't know, we're just going to you know, give it away or something. Did you want it? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want it. Uh, so what do we got going on, Sam? All right, here we go. Jeff Williams, appreciate you. I know your name very well by now. I appreciate you, Jeff. I appreciate you going over to PayPal and doing it there. Badgers Heavy Hitters at PayPal. Um, I really appreciate that. That way, you know, YouTube doesn't take out their little 60% or whatever it is. Um, and it goes directly to the bed and, you know, whatnot from there. Also, those of you that want to hit me up and let me know if you're down for this kind of content and whatnot, <coughs> please do. Hit me up at P.O. Box 572-875. You know, people send me clothes from time to time. If they're cool enough clothes and I would support that brand, I'll wear them on the channel. You know, um, <coughs> Hey, Bobby, guy, girl, what's up? I try calling him all the time. I miss you, girl. It's good to see you or hear you. And I will. I'll give him a call, sweetheart. I'll see if he's okay. You know, I, I put Howard in treatment before. I scholarshiped him. He was in a, in a, you know, $100,000 a month rehab. I put him in their scholarship for free. And he only hung out for like five days, man, because he, he just... Hey, man, when it calls, it calls. You know what I mean? When she's hollering, she's hollering, and you're going to go running. So, you know, I get it. Um, Bobby, I will definitely look into that, sweetheart. And Silas, thank you again. You know, Jeff, it's because of people like you that I'm able to do the things that I'm able to do, man. Those of you that are don't mind reaching in and, you know, giving back, man. You know, that's what to me, that's really what it's all about. Um, you wouldn't have heard that, you know. 20 years ago, I guarantee you that. 30 years ago, it was all about take, take, take. What you got for me, fool? It's all about me. Uh, and I used to get off on that extortion shit, man. You know, I'm not going to lie. It was a power move, you know. I, I used to get off on it. But uh, how fucking wrong, man. You know, like, whatever. I mean, it was survival of the fittest at that time. You know, in the joint, that's... What you know, they took a pup, stuck it in cage, and you know, trained it t to be a wolf. You know, that's pretty much all they did with me. So, it's pretty much all I did with myself. Let me rephrase that. You know, I'm responsible for my own actions that put me there. Uh, but they didn't offer me much. You know, they offered me fucking fend for myself. You know, for, uh. <laughs> I remember hearing, you know, I had a little weight on me when I was a kid, you know, and fucking hitting there. I hadn't been, been working out yet and doing all that shit. And I remember hearing some dude say, uh, ain't no joy like a big butt boy, you know. And I thought to myself, I'm going to sharpen something this evening and I'm going to stab that fool in the neck as many times as I can tomorrow. You know, and I told him, boy, I go, hey, I'm going to kill that fool, bro, for saying that. You know what I mean? He's like. No, nah, boy, no, nah, man. I'm going to get at him. I'm going to get that taken care of. You know what I mean? I go, I ain't fucking playing, bro. Ain't nobody going to talk to me like that in here. If I let him talk to me like that, they're all going to get to clowning like that. And I'll show them that I'll plug him in the neck 50 times before anyone gets to stop me. I'm not going to have people talking to me like that, you know? We train people how to te speak to us in here or out there, in there, as well as out here. Remember that, you guys. We teach people how to treat us, you know, and if people t treated me the way I've treated myself at times, man, I'd take their wind. I guarantee you that. So it's not okay for me to treat myself the way I treat myself at times as well. You know, um, I don't have to be as hard on myself as I am. You know, I give all that I got the majority of the time. It was great today, too. Uh, I went by... The Solution House, which is a female 
Raymond Moore, I appreciate you. Uh, the Solution House is a, a place where it's a female sober living. And I went by there today and the owner came out and she was like, man, I tried calling you today. And I'm like, bullshit, you didn't try calling me, say that, blah, blah, blah. And she did. She actually did. She just dialed a number that I didn't have anymore. And uh, she goes, you're on my 10th step where, you know, the part where you're grateful to somebody for them putting in, you know, helping you and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know, I work the steps as well. And she's like, well, I just wanted you to know that I'm grateful that you were there and I'm grateful that you're still there. And I'm like, you know, plus don't get me wrong. I used to date this person as well, but she was still grateful that, I could be adult enough to be like, you know, I'd like to help you out of your situation, not drug situation, but she had, uh, so, so she had, I can't say what, anyway, it's not, I can't put that out there, what's going on, but anyway, she was supposed to have some kind of surgery and she didn't have the support she needed. And, you know, I just told her, look, no matter what our history is, I got you, man. Like, I won't discuss anything that we talk about, you know, I will, uh, keep it between us, I promise you. And because I have done her like that in the past, you know, her daughter calls me stepdad, you know, I'm her, you're my stepdad. And uh, still to this day. So I've discussed things that her and I have discussed with her daughter, you know, um, and it was wrong of me, but, you know, like I would, I would, sometimes I would get hurt in the situation as well. You know, why did she do this to me? Why did she treat me like that? Why, you know, why, 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 why? And uh, the bottom line is it doesn't matter why. You know, it's all perfect. It's always all perfect. Appreciate you. Dime bag, Daryl, you my boy. How you doing up there, man? Is the dope good in heaven, dog? Need some advice. So get at me on a, on a Gmail, bud. You know, uh, leave a number. If I get a minute, I'll holler at you, okay? It's uh, my Gmail is badgersheavyhitters at gmail.com. Um, get at me, dime bag, you know? Nothing on a double amputee and have a phantom pain. Any suggestions? Wow, my boy, that's some heavy shit right there. Um, So I think I have somebody in mind that you could probably talk to. I hope you're not clowning right now either. I hope you're not joking with what you're saying over here, my boy. Um, Cause I'm trying to think of how I could be of service to you. So, uh, wow. I was touching my heart right there. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to come on here, let you guys know, you know, oh, good God. What, how my day went. You know, um, I love being of service, you know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I will definitely, if you touch me up or hit me on a, on Gmail, I'll definitely leave a phone number uh, or Instagram, SFV Badger, um, whatever the case may be, all lowercase, I'll see what I could do. You know what I mean? Um, tell me what your situation is in advance and I'll see, you know, how I could line it out for you. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. You're right. I, I didn't get a nap today. <laughs> Hence why I'm usually up in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? I fucking sleep during the day. Oh, it's uh, boredom 30. I think I'll toss one off and take a nap, you know? So, I didn't get the opportunity to do that today, you know. Uh, it's been over 34 years. That's right. That's good shit right there, man. Um, I'm not working with that kind of time, but I'll tell you what. I definitely got today, and that's really all that matters to me. Uh, do I draw what? Of course I draw. <laughs> no. I'm not an artist at all. I could draw stick figures, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, you guys, I'm going to let, okay. Yeah. I thought, why someone put IV badger? You know what I mean? Uh,
Stephen Alvarez, 602 Phoenix. Appreciate you, my boy. Supple G, Battle of Fent Craven. Thanks for the live, Sam. Yeah. Brought me. Well, yeah, for sure, my boy. Um, just a craving? Is it just a craving right now? You know, uh, and we all know what that craving is, man. That's boredom. It's a, a spiritual malady. Um, you know, like, yeah, I'll see what I could do. I'm tied up really right now after this video because I'm thinking I need a nap really bad before I try and give anyone any advice. But um, if you guys hit me up, lay out a little bit of your problem as to what it is, I try and get back at you guys. Ask people on this channel, man. Ask people. Ask people out in public. I try and get at you the best that I can, man, with, and still make, you know, Badger's world come together, you know? Um, yeah. Anyway, you guys, it is. It's like nap 30, isn't it? Uh, oh, it is. 31. Nap 31. So, you guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Um I'm going to eat a little ice cream and catch a nap. But uh, if there's anything I can help you with, you know, right away, hit me up on Instagram or shoot me a kite. You know what I mean? Over to P.O. Box 572-875, Tarzana, California, 91357. Also, let me know if that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down on, uh, you know, if you guys are willing to tune in on, on a on a movie like that, on a show like that, not a movie, but you know what I'm saying? On a show like that. So see if he wants to pursue it. You know, it sounds good to me, man. Being of service 24-7 and then having the finances to do it, that would be badass by me. Anyway. All right, you guys. I'm going to uh, let you go and get some ice cream in. And get some pillow in for about a half hour, 40 minutes. You know, Miss Harriet's gone. I had time to touch bases with you guys. Um, so with that said, you guys, man, enjoy your weekend, all right? Fucking be good to somebody, including yourself. Try that out. Did you? Get, yes, I got the money. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't. No, oh, I'm sure I did. I don't know. I'm doing a live. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, like I said, if there's any rub one out, <laughs> somebody caught what I was saying. Uh, you guys, if there's anything I could do, let me know. Uh, like I said, enjoy your weekend, man. Be good to somebody, including yourself, all right? You know, me and Harriet were fighting today, and I go, you know what? She goes, I'm not happy today. And I'm like, I'm not happy either today. And so after she left, I was like, you know what? You're just going to have to deal with it as I'm going to have to deal with it. Because if there's anyone I'd rather not be unhappy with, it's you. So until we figure out how to be happy, you're the one I'd choose to be happy with, unhappy with. So take that and swallow it. Okay, okay. She sent this screenshot to me. Perfect. Uh, anyway, you guys, like I said, have a great weekend, huh? Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think about the show idea, and we'll take it from there, all right? As always, some people want it to happen. Some people need it to happen. Heavy hitters make it happen. Nothing but love and respect. Shout out to the entire tribe. Deuces.